Hi friends, in this video we want to see how to allocate the memory dynamically by using a pointer. Friends, in this video, we want to discuss how to allocate memory dynamically using a pointer. But friends, before that, before that, we want to discuss some questions in this video. How to create the new block using a pointer at a runtime? Second, how to store the value in a new block created by a pointer? It is a second question. And then third question is, how to retrieve the value stored in a point stored in a block stored in a block created by a pointer are you clear guys before dynamic memory allocation we want to discuss three major and important points is here i don't understand so now we can say how to create a new block using a pointer at runtime Friends, if you want to create the new block using a pointer, we need to increase the pointer or we need to increase the pointer without star. Are you clear? Without star. Consider friends, we have a sample code here. So we get a clear idea how to create a new block. So consider things, friends, right? Consider here, right? We have a sample code here, integer of a star of a PTR, A equal to of a 10, PTR equals to end of A, print F. Now point, now PTR points to percent U slash N of a PTR, print F value on a current block percent slash of a star of a ptr when you write ptr plus plus shift pointer on a new block or on the next block means new block created new block Created by a pointer. Star of a PTR equal to a 20. If you increase the gain PTR plus plus. Shift pointer on a new block. Are you clear? So guys, we want to see this code. Right? We want to discuss this code. So we get a clear idea how pointer works. Consider friend, we have a code is here and we want to discuss it. Friend, consider
friend consider it is my memory when we write integer a equals to 10 the meaning is we have a block the name of a block is a a it contain the 10 values and the address of the block is a 65524 when we write ptr equal to end of a means friends we have a block the name of a block is a ptr so ptr equal to end of a what is the meaning of this ptr equals to end of a means friends here it is your ptr Means we can say end of a means we store the address of a in a PTR. What the address of a 65524 is there. Are you clear? So now PTR points to percent you friends. Now consider it is my PTR. Now I am show the diagram it easily. Consider friends, who is this? Friends, we consider it is my PTR, it is my pointer, right? So here, we think here, this PTR now point to the A. Are you clear? The PTR points to the A. Are you clear? Yeah. Means now the address, the PTR point to the A. So PTR address here, we have output 65524. Because PTR contains the address of A the value on a current block why what is the meaning of this value on a current block means my point to point to the a and the and this block contain the 10 so when we use the star when we use the star with a before pointer we get a values so consider friends it is a 10 so your trend 10 print here are you clear yeah your 10 print here so when we write a ptr plus plus Friends, consider this statement. It is a very more important point now. When we PTR plus plus here, what is the meaning of a PTR plus plus? The meaning is we shift the pointer on the next block. So what is the next block? The next block is a 65526 because right in integer having a two byte of a memory in a turbo C plus plus compiler. Do you understand or not? Means your pointer move on a next block means friends when we when your control come on this this right when your control come here then your pointer right not hold right then then your pointer not point to the a block then your pointer not point to this friends your pointer point to this block 65526 is there. are you clear 65526 means your pointer hold the address of the 65526 sorry Friends, your pointer hold the address of a 65526. Yeah, I understand or not. Means friends, your pointer not pointing to the A block. Your pointer, your pointer pointing to this block. I don't understand or not. Means friends, when we write PTR, star PTR, when we're talking about this text star ptr what is the meaning of a star ptr so where is your star ptr right means the value consider friends the value stored in new block the 20 20 is stored here because right your pointer point to the 65526 because when you use only the ptr when we use only the ptr means we have address but when you use the star the meaning is we are entered sorry when we use the star the star indicate right when we use the star the star indicate we are entered in address block are you clear so what is the meaning of this the star ptr equal to 20 it means that 20 present on a 20 block right sorry 65526 location are you clear friends when we're talking about the next statement ptr plus plus the meaning is when your control reach on a ptr plus plus then in memory we have another block i don't understand the block is in a 655 6 5, 5, 2, 8 is there. Are you clear? 
means friends if you talking about this statements when your control comes on this statement the meaning is your pointer your pointer not point to the this block are you understand your pointer is not pointing to the this block are you clear your pointer your pointer your pointer pointing to this location 655528 are you clear 655528 means friends your point to hold the address of a new block 655528 is here are you clear or not means friends your pointer is not pointing to this block your pointer this pointer pointing to this are you clear or not so if your pointer pointing to this memory and if you write here star of a ptr equals to of a 40 so what is the meaning of this the meaning is the 40 fold your 40 your 40 fold on 65528 is here i understand or not it is meaning of this friends when we increase the pointer by 1 then definitely your pointer allocate the new block and when we have a space in the memory then definitely we can hold the value on that space or not yeah so consider friends if i write here ptr minus minus or ptr equal to ptr minus 2 what is meaning of this here ptr minus 2 means not a value when we write here ptr equal to ptr minus 2 meaning is we shift or decrease the pointer by two block ptr minus 2 meaning we shift or decrease the pointer by a two block means by a four byte i don't understand or not so friends when we write this statement so in this statement your pointer point to the 65528 so ptr equal to ptr minus 2 the meaning is 65528 65528 minus of a 4 is there Six five five two eight minus of a four. What is meaning of this? Six five five two eight minus of a four. So consider friends. Six five five two eight minus of a four means your pointer, right? Six five five two eight minus four means minus two six two six and two eight means when we execute this statement, your pointer, your pointer shift back two blocks. When we write this statement, when we write this statement, your pointer shift two blocks. means now your pointer present on a 65528 right so two block every block having a two byte of memory means 65528 minus of a 4 means guys your pointer your pointer again point to this block are you understand or not your pointer again point to this block are you clear means in pointer contain the 65524 address are you clear means friends your pointer now not pointing to this statements means when we talking about these statements your pointer not pointing to this we are pointing to again pointer here i don't understand or not clear means overall concept is when we increase the pointer by a 1 then you get a new block in memory when we decrease the pointer by a 1 means your pointer shifted to back back positions i don't understand or not means we can say when we increase the pointer plus 1 your pointer shift on a new block when we decrease the pointer minus 1 means your pointer shift on a previous block i don't understand or not means consider friends pointer is a very flexible in a memory means we can say pointer can travel in a memory i don't understand or not now friends we want to see this example practically so we clear your concept Hash include stdio dot h hash include conio dot h void main get ch clr scr integer y equal to of a ten integer star of a ptr ptr equals to end of y Right, print f. Now pointer points percent u slash and of a ptr is here when we execute it. Six five five two four. 
means friends here PTR points to six five five to four memory location. You understand? Means we can access value of using a PTR on six five five two four memory. That is ten. Print F value of using a pointer percent d slash in star of a ptr get here is a 10 friends we can see in diagram when we write here ptr plus plus means pointer move on a next block right means next block means pointer increase by 2 byte because we have an integer pointer ptr printf sorry now ptr points now pointer points percent u slash enough of ptr so that is 65526 friends Six five five two six. So friends, print F. Now, value on a new block. Percent D slash star of a PTR. Guys, print zero or a garbage. because there is no value because right means here we created the block but there is no value in a block so we can store the value using a pointer for that we require star of a ptr equal to 20 so get that print here 20 I understand or not clear means friends we can see here when we increase the pointer if I write here again PTR minus minus or PTR equal to PTR minus of a one means your pointer shift on a previous block so we can say here printf slash now value on now pointer points percent u slash in PTR. So friends, your point to point to the six five five two four again. Pointer shift on previous block. I understand it. It is in a six five five two four. Are you understand or not? Clear. So are you clear? So consider friends, if we use the while loop or for loop, and if we use the size and increase the PTR plus plus. Right. So, friends, this is a very simple question we want to discuss here. Right. So, guys, in next video, we will see what is the dynamic memory allocation. Are you clear? Thank you.